server-side tracking speedrun edition. This is you. You go to abc.com, which is a server that returns HTML. The HTML is getting rendered by your browser and every communication, so for example, you navigate to another page of, H, uh, of ABC is being another communication with this server. We make this a bit bigger. But also if you have, for example, Facebook ads on and the Facebook pixel on your page, there is a communication to Facebook whenever, for example, a page view happens. And this is directly sent to the Facebook domain. What an ad blocker now does, and this you can only do with client side tracking, an ad blocker sees or has to detect that this is not valid traffic. So that's something where you send data. And this is perfectly valid traffic. And how they do this most of the time is by knowing that this is the Facebook domain and knowing that this is abc.com. And abc.com is the website I'm on right now. So this traffic is not getting blocked. Right? So every communication is not getting blocked. What you can do is to have another server or to proxy your whole request. So instead of like sending directly to Facebook, the event you want to send, you send it to your own server and your own server then sends it to Facebook, which means that the ad blocker will not detect this and will say this is perfectly valid and lets the call succeed. And that's in a nutshell is how server-side tracking works.